Haven't you figured it out yet? It has been, or has it? I don't know. It's kind of hard to denote the passage of time unless they just directly tell you in an RPG. And anime as well. It's like, it's like you know, like One Piece. Before the time skip, because, you know, if you haven't kept up with One Piece, they did a time, time skip a few, like, I don't know, a while ago now. You know, but between the anime, the manga starting and the time skip, how long was that? I'm totally ruining this serious moment. What is your desire? I like Ashley's desire. You know, he doesn't want to be a hero anymore. He's seen what happens to heroes. What sadness being a hero brings to those around him. So now he just wants to be... He just wants the simple answer. He wants... To have enough power to protect those around him and to live a normal, peaceful daily life. For stating our desire, we get the power of the Guardian of Desire, Lucian, who melds with the power of Lord Blazer, and we gain the attack, Mad Lucian. Mad Lucian is only available when you are in Night Blazer form, and it replaces Hot Fencer, just to let you know, so it becomes a more powerful version of Hot Fencer. I'm going to have to figure out some way to edit it, all that wandering around to make me not look like a complete moron. I can't believe I didn't realize I was in the wrong room. I knew there was a room with no door. I knew there was a dead end. And yet, I walked straight into the dead end and was like, where do I go now? <sighs> like I said, totally not vain there, Maribel. Totally not vain. And I run off the edge. Boy, I'm just batting a thousand a day. Uh, well, anyway. Let's get out of here. Now, we're going to another... Let's see... T-Bock. We're going to do another side quest. No, I want to go to T-Bock. Alright. T-Bock is this way. Oh wait, no, past it, past it, beep beep, back up. Ow. Ow, I just hurt myself. Urgh. Ouch. But anyway, we want to bring Brad out. And lay bombs! Hey, doggy. Alright, so... 
go in here. I believe she's in here. And you talk to nobody because she's not in there. She must be in that house with Resi in front. Yes, I remember the dog's name. Is that her? Well, she tells us about a good luck spot. Well, let's go check out this good luck spot. And we need to make sure that... Do I have some tiny... Yes, I do. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. You want to make sure that you have some, uh, a couple of good flowers before you go and do this because of the fact that there is something that is luck based in here. There's actually two things that are luck based. And I actually missed this guardian the first time I played the game. Come on. Because I did not know that the last door could only be opened with best luck. I got through, I found the place just fine. I just didn't didn't uh, know that the last door opened up. Now these doors need a special key. Well, wherever shall we get this key? I don't know. Hmm. Pace back and forth here. Think about this for a moment. Where can we get this key? They have keys. I don't know if you can see it, but they have keys. This is where you get the special key. Actually, I'm going to kill that one. And pickpocket this one. We get the secret key! You only need one. You don't need to, like, do one per door or anything. One is plenty. And the Golpa is the only enemy in this place, so, yeah. We're gonna be cutting out all the rest of the random battles, hopefully. Come on, load. One thing I do not miss is the incredibly long load times. You know, people complain about load times nowadays. But man. The load times are terrible in this game. So we get a crest. Like I said, you only need the one key. Oh, wait, I have a strength apple. Cool. Might as well. Brad has, like, this monstrous strength, doesn't he? Alright. And... Come to this door, we get... Texas number. Which is, of course, armor for Ashley. And then this last door contains the amulet, which is basically an upgrade for the Missigna. Missenga. Where is it? Amulet. Raises your luck two levels, which is good. And Thankfully, I already have best luck, which means I don't have to use any of my tiny flowers. I can save them for later. And this last door can only be opened. It's not this door. The, the, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about. That last door can only be opened by somebody with best luck, so... Yeah. 
right here. If you try to open it with somebody without best luck, nothing happens. However, someone with best luck, and voila. And inside you find... Chapapanga, the guardian of luck. Incidentally, Chapapanga is a cat in a, like, a very dapper suit. If you've never seen Chapapanga, go look at, like, a picture of him up or something. He's, like I said, he's very dapper. I think in Wild Arms 3, like, his summoning an animation has him sitting, sipping tea and stuff. And it's, it's just very surreal. Anyway, Chapapanga is what is known as a high guardian. Uh, basically, he can only be summoned by Tim after he gets the High Guardian ability, which I don't think I have at this point. I might, but I don't think so. Nope. Tim's final level 4 ability is High Guardian. Chapapanga, his randomizer... I think if you kill somebody with randomizer, it guarantees a uh, drop. So, let's see. Um, well, I guess her. Oh, wait, she doesn't have a guardian on. Put Latea Stalk on Latea Salk on her, and now we escape. I've said it before, and I'll say it again. One of the things I love about this game is the side quest dungeons are not long. Well, most of them. Some of them are. I'm personally, actually, at this point, wondering how much grinding I'm going to have to do to be able to beat the special bosses. I mean, I still got a little ways to go, so I'm not too worried about it, but uh, you got to have certain skills before you can even dream of taking them on. Like, for example, you have to have either M attack up or P attack up, depending on, of course, your uh, that character's particular inclination toward damage. And then you've got to have both physical defense up and magical defense up. You've got to have up HP. Uh, up parameter, I think, is not required, but it's very useful. Um, got to have restore HP. Yeah. I mean, we're well on our way. One of the things about this game is the optional bosses are certainly not very easy. So, at this point, I have four duplicators left. There is an optional place I could go right now, and I'm trying to see if it's worth doing that now. Yeah, I, I guess I could go there. Uh, Easternmost Island. Which is this way. Now, if you come this way, you'll there's a place called the Pirate's Warren. The Pirate's Warren is a place with six... No, excuse me, seven duplicator chests. The last one we can the last one with the actual real big prize of the place we actually can't get just yet. Uh, we have to get Ashley's final tool, which you actually get in the final dungeon of the game. Uh, but there are six perfectly good chests we can get to now. 
I only have four duplicators. Luckily, not all of the chests are, you know, have something good in them. So... We do want to open this one. For the Crest E. The middle one contains a Talisman, which restores uh, HP every at the end of each turn. The third chest there contains Elven Boots. Which I think we already have a pair of those. Yeah, so, yeah. So I'm gonna open this one. Get that talisman. Go to the other side, and on the other side there are three chests. This one contains kid gloves. This one contains an elven cloak. And this one contains an ambrosia. Now, the elven cloak, it says extends cancel period. I'm not entirely sure what that does, but what I think it does is when you get into a random battle, the period that the the exclamation point above your head uh, is above your head before you go into a battle. I think that's what it extends. I'm not entirely sure on that. If you know for sure, let me know. So I'm going to grab the Ambrosia. Regardless, I'm never going to use the Elven Cloak because as even if it does extend what I'm talking about, uh, at this point, like hitting the O button is literally a reflex that I can't turn off. So, it's really useless to me. There is a optional boss in there that we cannot fight right now. Um, like I said. Is there anything else left we can do at this point? I don't... F well, yes, there is. There is one more thing, and I better do it now before I forget. Let's see. Go to the Thunder Lion Cage. this way I think this is the Thunderline cage yes cool now like I said remember way back when I said recognize this mark well you hit it, it opens up a door. And inside, you get a mecha boost, a bloody cape, and huh? Not real sure what they're talking about there, but anyway, let me talk a little bit about the mecha boost. Maravel gets one weapon, Hob and Nob. And by the way, Bloody Cape, her ultimate armor. She only gets one weapon, but you can actually increase the power of her weapon by using the Mecha Boosts. Raises her attack power by 20 points. So, huzzah! all that rot. Anyway, I believe that is everything we can do right now, maybe. Uh, I think what I'm going to do now is go and take a quick little break. Actually, probably be better off to land. Teleport to Maria, save my game, go take my break, then come back. I might grind for some red power. I might keep playing. I don't know. I just don't know. But anyway, this is a good stopping point for now. Let's see. Save my game. Alright. 
Come on. That's where I started. So I will save it in number three. And I will see you guys next time on Wild Arms 2.